hello welcome to nx tutorial so right now it's about mold wizard so in this uh, case I ha already have the, the, the project as you can see in here I already create the workpiece also now in here I want to show you about how to check the quality of the part itself do they gonna have a potential problem in the future or not for example do they have a draft angle a too narrow or almost a zero that's gonna make very difficult to, to eject okay in here in mold wizard we have what is called part validation so the part validation will examine is this parts injection mold parts have potential problem or not now in here I want to a little bit isolate in here for example I will show you just display part this is the molding so this is the original uh, part in here we gonna have potential problem the draft angle is a zero so we're gonna add this one but on this uh, scenario I don't know about this okay so just make an, an assumption that I, do, I don't know about this so we go back again to in here a molding top go back to mold wizard now in here we have what we call mold design validation mold design validation here mold part quality I go to click this one and then select object which one the cavity block and also the core block okay and for the model quality also I will check the cavity block and also the core block after that I go to execute a checkmate now the checking is complete after the checking is complete you can see in here there's some information you can see right information it said in here the problem is the draft angle we have face angle from 0 to 3 a positive the negative and the 0 face angle is exactly 0 as I already mentioned we uh, pretend don't know we have this one and and later I will show you how to uh, modify the zero draft angle so we're gonna reduce the potential of problem now in here the face angle is zero and all the potential problem is shown by using the symbol the eye symbol but it's very uh, difficult to see which area and if you want to see more uh, clearly you can use here view c2 now if i using c2 and i return this one now you can see this is all the potential problem so in here as i already uh, showed to you so this is the potential problem it have a zero draft angle so and also in here we have in here and also in here now what we should do next is to adding a draft angle so we will uh, reduce the potential problem in the future now we deactivate the checkmate uh, deactivate the c2o okay back to mold wizard to the assembly and what we need to do now is to edit the mold uh, part the finished uh, product the finished product as I will show you we the finished product we can found which is have the name a molding a molding okay molding molding so we should looking in here or if you have found a difficulty you can go to view window okay change display part molding a molding you can found in here 
uh, this one molding um, molding click OK this is the part the part that you will edit is not the original part the original part name you can see in here the name is when I click the link of body the name is card holder here card holder it and uh, it by default unloaded from mold wizard so it means when you create an edit object in here the original part cat part the card holder will not be uh, modified okay now I will edit this because the potential problem is draft angle this one this one and also uh, this one and this one also okay I will start to edit the model using a uh, what is called modeling application draft angle using edge to add this uh, specify factor perpendicular select edge okay the draft angle maybe I will just add some 3 degree maybe 1.5 also in here you can see in here so we get this one apply okay so now we already add the draft angle 1.5 millimeters now we add draft angle in here we can use draft of body okay in here we're going to use uh, face select the parting object select face first maybe like face draw direction select parting object in here I'm sorry select face is using tangent face I think this one select the parting object this one special effect okay ah this one yes angle 3 degrees no it's error it said maybe I should check 1.5 ah, 1.5 is good you can see in here 1.7 still okay okay maybe I will add 1.7 it's also same for here okay select the parting object select faces 1.7 okay click apply okay in here also select the parting object maybe I want to select this one okay select the face this and also this okay I already add draft angle for for that okay let's check I'm not yet edit this one I want to check about the original the assembly in here okay I will go back again to this one mode design validation I'll go to mode part quality select the solid body select the recoil and also the model quality Select the solid body, select the solid body itself. Okay, using the checkmate. I close and the draft angle. Now we still have the zero. Okay, if I expand this and using view, see to all. Now you can see the potential of problem left behind just only this one okay you can see the potential problem is only this one the potential problem from for the ribbing in here and in here already gone so it means that uh, what I did by editing the cat model is uh, successfully reduced the potential problem and then I go back to edit that disable one okay disable this one also go to mold wizard and go back again go back to view looking for the molding itself molding molding 
in here now I want to add draft angle for this so using draft angle okay in the face maybe just only 1.5 degree maybe yeah, at 3 degree maybe it's okay select stationary face this is stationary face face to draft this one is also so it will draft outside oh sorry this also to that side to that side so in here we have 3 degree of the draft angle you can see ok you can see right in here 3 ok I click ok now do we have the potential a problem Let's go back again and display parent molding top. Go back again, check using this one mold design validation. Cavity select the color so also. Using the checkmate, okay. Now you can see draft angle. There's no zero draft angle. Ah, some a potential in here. You still have zero draft angle. It said, but is it in here? Let me check using C2. Okay, no. Okay, the problem I think is not there, so I mean the problem is gone. So I will go continue to here. And here we have some kind of problem. Some kind of a problem in here. What about this one? Uh, this is not a problem actually. Maybe I, sh I should go and uh, focus on this one. In here, we can see that some of it have a sharp, sharp edges we can see sharp edges in here for example uh, this is actually not good maybe in later we can create a fillet in here with radius so I will shut down again okay and turn off okay now I want to show you we have the core we have the cavity in here okay I will disable this one now you see here we have a core and we have the cavity and we have the core now as I already make a modification or adding draft angle automatically this part the core itself creates draft angle because the core is made by link body from uh, the molding molding so it means that when I edit uh, the molding molding it also will uh, modify this core now the next thing I will do is to edit the core to give some radius uh, maybe 0 0.2 I think quite small it's okay Now this is 0 0.2 so I want to reduce all the sharp edges in this part because uh, sharp edges also have uh, some kind of potential of problem if we want to 
using in injection molding so maybe this one is enough get yeah, a little bit okay small one okay and later also this uh, this one also oh sorry no, should be not this one okay this one and then so every potential a problem that might be happen in injection molding it can be reduced in this uh, modeling application simply by create a draft angle and you can see on the checkmate itself do they still have a potential problem or not okay now I already make a uh, fillet for this as you can see when I click this it also click in here because uh, this body is linked uh, together it's same up a product so in NX mode wizard all body is linked together okay now I, I finish editing the core and I also already create draft angle okay now I will go back again to this one mold part quality I will show all okay mold part quality I will check the sorry mold part quality here cavity block the call block check check the cavity block and the call block Now you can see draft angle is some problem, but in here actually it's not a problem draft angle. So it's up to you again. If you want to change everything, then you can do it. But if not, you can leave it behind because maybe you, you know that it's not a problem. Now in here actually it's not a problem because uh, this is the workpiece, not the part. And here you can see by using view, see to all is this a problem or not for example this one so it's up to you if you want to change it okay zero also so it means that uh, based on my conclusion there is no more a problem but face angle is z is a zero so everything now have a draft angle okay what you just show in here the eye here zero it means this one is zero uh, and the parting surface is zero is it's also in here the parting surface is zero it's not a problem at all the problem for the model inside in here we already solved that's why uh, nothing a display anymore inside in here so it means that I already finished finish to solve the potential of a problem for plastic injection molding in this uh, mold wizard uh, mold wizard assembly a cat model so that's it uh, thank you for watching and please watch uh, my next video about plastic injection molding uh, the mold wizard using the nx thank you